Okay, so this is a quick tutorial on lighting simulation inside of Revit. Um, and there are two sort of key modes of doing lighting sim in Revit. One um, allows you to put uh, lighting levels on a floor plan, um, and then we can see those really clearly as sort of a technical piece of data, and that is found underneath the Analyze tab and Lighting. Um, and they work great, but uh, my, my preferred method um, is actually using cloud rendering illuminance method that gets you light levels on a surface. Um, in particular, for me, it helps visualize a little bit the differences between different design options. And so uh, if we just look at these uh, models really quickly, um, you can see, let's, let's just think of this as starting off as variable one for Western exposure on light variable two and variable three, trying to break up the light and making illuminance a little bit more consistent and softer in each one of these interior spaces. Um, so initially I'd modeled this and then modeled an option and an option, including some skylights, and then eventually a little bit of a light shelf, just trying to work through some options and how those would vary the illuminance readings from a light simulation on the inside. So I'm not really talking about how to do any of the modeling or any of that, but just looking at how to set up the illuminance on each one. Um, so as mentioned, this is going to use um, a cloud-based rendering system. So essentially what I'm doing in each um, space, so you can see I've got these three different spaces as three different options. Um, I am coming in and adding a new camera in the corner, something like this looking from edge to edge. So again, first left click places the camera, second left click is where I'm looking to, stretching that camera out so that I can have uh, at least three walls, floor and ceiling, a decent amount of them in. So not stretching it out so far that it looks weird, but just creating sort of a 16 by nine aspect ratio. Uh, I'm going to rename that. Um, let's call it option 1A. Um, so I'm repeating that process again for option two and repeating that process again of placing a camera for option three. So each option, um, as I go into the rendering in the cloud, that's going to be underneath the view tab and render in cloud, um, just hitting the continue button. What you're going to see is my 3d view. I want to make sure that this is matching the view that I want illuminance values for. So that's option one, a. I'm going to change still image to illuminance. From there, um, I've got image size. And in general, I don't necessarily need something super high resolution for this. I just need something that gives me a decent amount of values. Um, and what I'm going to do for that in particular is I want to go back a step. And rather than use um, location and time here, I would much rather go back in and let's set the time and location in the view itself. So that way I'm consistent and I don't have to worry about this here. All I have to do is hit that little checkbox, Use from View. So to do that, I'm going to come right down here to Graphic Display Options. So I'm Option 1A, Graphic Display Options. And I'm going to go down to Lighting. My in-session lighting is a still image. I need to set my location. So this project is in Springfield, Missouri. And I found that simply by changing from the default is internet mapping service. I changed this to default city list and then Springfield and then selected the Springfield, Missouri because that's where this project is based. It gives me latitude and longitude. I'm going to set my time of year, month and my date. So um, our, my initial passes with, the, with this that I've already run were the summer solstice at 2 p.m. So I know I have some western sun coming in. Um, I know it's going to, to, to basically bring in sort of a light bulb into this area with a lot of western facing glass. So I'm going to say OK to that and OK. And now when I go to render in the cloud, Option 1A, Option 1A, Illuminance, Use Date from View. I'm going to, to check that box. So it's going to essentially overwrite these. Uh, it's going to, going to require one 
cloud credit, and then I can simply hit start rendering. So that's going to upload my model to the cloud um, and essentially bake that. I'm doing that for also option two. So if I look at my graphic display options and lighting, I've got this set to still summer solstice 2 p.m. So that each one of these views is creating an illuminance value at the exact same date, exact same time. That way I am comparing apples and apples, right? I don't want any variable on there. Of course, I could rerun these simulations at noon and two and four as well to have different times of day. But what I don't want to do is have one design option at noon and another design option at 2 p.m. And if I'm doing that, I'm not comparing um, apples and apples. I'm comparing, you know, bananas and oranges. That's no fun. Um, to take a look at these files, I'm going to click render in cloud. Uh, not render in cloud, I'm sorry. Let's close both of those. Render gallery. So this is going to open up your default web browser, which for me is Mozilla. It's going to immediately take you to your files. And um, those tests that I ran are right here. I'm going to go ahead and select um, view project. So that was the name of my Revit file, daylight test 11422. Um, not the date that I was running the light simulation, but today's date when I ran the tests. So I'm going to click View Project. That is the one that just ran. So um, that is option design option one. Design option two. So that was introducing the vertical columns, no light shelf. Design option three, vertical columns. And here you can see the edge of that light shelf. So this is giving you um, a gradient mapping of light values in foot candles um, and a color by the side of them. Remember, this is going to vary. So I might have 1,000 foot candles. It's still going to show up as yellow. Um, so that is not going to change, but these values right here might. So you always need to pay attention to what these are doing, which is, again, really why you want to make sure that these are all running same time of the day so that I'm seeing the impact not of changing the time of day but the impact of changing the form on the values the light values on each surface in the space so that's it it's pretty simple pretty simple to walk through um, and really nice results and again results that on every project we should be sharing with our client to continue to show our expertise as designers all the thought all the effort that we're putting into building the right kind of design with the right kind of exterior treatment to control situations like nice, even lighting.